No team has ever come back, and thus no team has ever given up a lead of 33 or more points in the NFL ever except for Jeff Saturday's Colts. So, yeah, Rob, uh, it ain't going well. We told you. (laughs) I came on this radio show and wailed at the top of my lungs that this was a bad idea, that Jeff Saturday was unqualified, didn't deserve the opportunity. And all these people were like, no, it's okay because they're not going to do anything anyway. Wait a minute. All of the other coaches who were in line and and, and they, they got bypassed because he's buddies with Jim Ursay. And then when they won their first game, go back, go on YouTube and hear all these oh, yeah. former players, Chris, waving their pom They couldn't even clap because they had pom-poms in their hands. Nick, look, all it takes is a leader of men. You don't have to be a coach. <laughs> this was a slap I in the hear face. I that a lot. Leader Am of I men. right, Chris? A leader yep. of men. That's all you need. You don't need to be exit and old. You could get other people to do that. Is that right? Where are those guys now? Pat McAfee uh, chastising and ripping people after his friend and former teammate. Yeah, that's the show I want to go and hear an honest take because it's his friend. What is he going to say? I didn't hear a show today. I'm sure he didn't rip him for giving up the largest lead in the history of the NFL. Chris, this was a debacle. It was a disrespect of the coaching fraternity and all those hardworking people put their time in. And Jeff Saturday, unqualified, over his head, and you can say whatever you want and say, well, it was a bad team, and he took over, and you can't play. Dude, all that. He was supposed to come and change the culture, right, Chris, and, and have a decent run, and then maybe they could say there's some, some uh, chance that he should get the job and finish the job and bring in his own quarterback and change things next year. How? How can you justify that now? This case is closed. The 54 points to the Cowboys – blowing a 33 nothing lead in an NFL game had never happened. And if you want to go and make an excuse and act like it has nothing to do with Jeff Saturday, it don't work like that. Because when he right. won, you had the pom-poms out, and you were giving him all the credit. Forget that it was the Raiders, and they had lost to everybody, right? Forget that. You didn't want to hear that. You wanted to give him credit. So if he gets credit for winning, guess what? He gets credit for losing. And he just lost the worst game in NFL history. On a Saturday, no doubt, Chris, no less. (laughs) They were 3-5-1 when Frank Reich got fired. And, you know, I've said it. I think Frank Reich's a good coach. He has his team in the playoffs um, with a different quarterback every single year. Um, And and so I I just think – and we said it, Rob. You have never, and we've been consistent, we have never ranted and raved about an NBA coach getting a job without any experience. Larry Bird, granted, we didn't have the show, but Larry Bird, Mark Jackson, Steve Nash, Derek Fisher, it's been done, and some have done it well. We've never done it about baseball, right? Guy comes out of nowhere, he's the manager. Okay, because we get it. Football, what we said, Rob, is football is different. It's the, the coaching is is vital, Chris. Are, Absolutely. What are, what's your game plan? Who are you? Are you are you running? Are you uh, using the, the the four three three four? Are you a running team? Like, there's so yep, many things that a identity. coach has to implement. Yes, you got fifty some odd players, fifty three players, twenty coaches to like, and and Rob, and this isn't. It ain't even really ripping Jeff Saturday because, right, we said from the get-go, he ain't qualified. He's not. Period. Period, Chris. He knew he wasn't. Unqualified. He knew he wasn't. His, his, those athletes, Rob, a lot of them that were cheering him after they beat the Raiders, when he got the job, they were saying, it, 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 this is crazy. Everybody knew it. All this does is – I mean, heck, and I'm sure, right, NFL coaches are, like, looking at it like, yeah. No. You, you, we you, don't just show up, you know, and, and decide to coach football. 
Right. I mean, really, it's our the, profession. The real... It's their profession, yep. Chris. They put their blood, sweat, and tears. And unfortunately, a lot of the players, Chris, who were rah rah in Jeff Saturday, they wanted to weigh in through the back door without putting in the work, Chris. That's what they were hoping against hope that this thing worked out, and then other owners, right, would be like, "Oh yeah, I, you know, I think so and so is a great football mind, and I'm gonna put him. In. He played for my team. I'll put, I'll make Emmett Smith the coach of the Cowboys, or you know what I mean, or or, or <laughs> yeah, Jerry probably would have done. He probably like right, that, yeah. but you know, like like right. it, like like it would become a trend. You know, it's a copycat league when yep. something works. No doubt, no doubt, and 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 this is really bottom line, Rob. This is fair. This is justice. And I don't think it makes Jeff Saturday look bad. Not it enough. really makes Ursay look bad. I agree with you. He looks like a like what do you do? You shouldn't be making football decisions anymore. Period. Like you hire someone who was a high school football coach, had no NFL experience, and you can say what you want. Oh, they weren't going anywhere anyway. It's way worse now Thank than you. it was under Wright. Way Rob, worse, a Chris. A lot of it Way has worse. been coaching. A lot of it has, like managing of the clock. It's Remember been he went horrible. home. What, what game was that? Uh, was it against the Steelers where he went home with two timeouts in his pocket? And, yeah, and the I believe it was, yeah. And, and the announcers are saying, call timeout. Yep. What, are you, what are they doing? Call timeout. Yep. This game, it was some horrible decisions made. Like, and again, and Jeff Saturday, Rob, when he was hired, press conference, I know this game. I, and, and you know what? I, he does. He does There's know no the game. in that. He was a center. He, you know, is a smart player. I'm not saying he's not a leader of men. He seems like a great guy. But that doesn't mean you qualified to coach in the NFL. And we're seeing it. And, Rob, it's just, like I said, it's justice. Because it, it, Chris, now it you got to go back to the way of earning it. And we've said it before, when you look at the lack of, you know, coaches of color, particularly African-American, it should be based on merit. And it's not, you know, it it's really hasn't been. And this was the extreme example, Rob. Yep. And you said, like, if this would have worked, how many – I look, if it would have worked and you don't need all that experience, I would have been fine. As long as if you're going to start hiring next players, it's a diverse hiring But, but you know the chances of that it, aren't good. Are, would, absolutely. It probably and, wouldn't and, and, and in Ursay's case, we talked about it before, Chris. He's had two black head coaches, so I'm not even going right. trip on you're that. We're not saying okay? it's racial at all. We're right. not. Not at all. But None it was just a dumb well, decision, right. and, and it blew up in their face. And he was on Twitter, Chris, or whoever has his yep. account, after they won the first game and went off, right? Went off. Right, right. Where is right. he now? With his tail between his legs. With a with a shrimp from uh, St. Elmo on the floor. And I hear a <laughs> urinating mouse on that shrimp that fell out of his mouth. When his team choked it down. And Rob, it just, it, it, it and honestly, it hurts the league too. And it, we get it. Bad coaches are hired all the time. Guys fail all the time. But he broke a record. There have been a number of gaffes. Now, Nate, look, Nate Hackett has done it in Denver. So we're not just, it's, you know, but the bottom line is it, it makes it look like the league look bad. Like, oh, y'all just hiring anybody. Anybody. Uh, it's a buddy system, right? Right, that, that, right. It is and bad, the owner Chris. Don't, you got an owner, a guy that owns a team that don't know what he's doing. I never, Rob, I honestly, and I bet you feel the same way, it never would have crossed my mind to hire an NFL coach with no experience whatsoever as, as an even assistant. You remember, we were we were. I mean, stunned. maybe college, you, you know, you hire a college guy. But, yeah. like, no, a, no, somebody that's not a big-time college coach or an NFL coach assistant, I would never have even thought about hiring them. And, Chris, his grand plan was that they looked decent, right, even if they yep. didn't win a lot of games, but looked decent like they were turning a corner and he was changing the culture, right, in the locker room, and then he could justify hiring him. He yep. can't do that now. Oh, Chris, man. how? What, he, would be, what would be his case? 
yeah, you. I mean, because they that even Rob that loss to Dallas was ridiculous. Remember that it was it. It wasn't just that they got blown out. It was all the turnovers. They gave that blowout to Dallas. Remember they were playing them tough, and they just started turning the ball over left and right. 